Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Henry the Mug says hello to Hello Henry everybody. Okay, this is another stuff that I've bought and an update video. First up, I just want to say a shout out to Steve Benway. Thanks, it's all your fault. After your videos, I end up buying those Kodak ZX1 YouTube webcam things that well, I'm recording this video and this is one of the first videos I've done with it, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm still messing around with it. Seems easier to use, certainly better than what I was using before and for what I paid for it, much cheapness. Okay, let's on and see what I've been buying. No, I'm not a collector. Uh, well, a collectaholic, I should say, but this month I have been buying an awful lot, as you guys know. First up, another charity shop find. World Championship snooker on PS1. A quid, one pound. £30 new? Perhaps not. It's got a picture of a uh, little champion there. Good Scotsman, yes, yes. Um, snooker, yes, fine. Liberal Grande, football game, again a pound, again it's going to good, uh, good cause, good local charity, so why not. Okay, All Star Tennis 2000, let's see this one was £20 new, um, it's actually pretty good fun, uh, I actually prefer it to take a Super Star Tennis on the 360, quite like it, pound, bargain. Revolt, £2 from the cash generator, one of my favourite shops to go to, there's always tons of good stuff in there, case is fine. Game's great fun actually, and plus it on the old DC collection. It's getting harder to find these in shops now, so for a couple of pounds, yep, fantastic. Right, cash in it again, and I don't have it. Sonic 2, complete, a pound. Great game, great fun. And again, the archaic RFID strip thing. Desert Speed Trap, Wiley Coyote, excuse me, right. Starring Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote. Again, a pound, again, complete. Box of it was a bit mankin, but a good clean didn't. Doesn't hurt that. Quite good fun. Golf Mania. Yeah, I've already got it, but this one's in a better box. And a pound, boxed complete. Yeah. An eBay, an eBay job. Shadow of the Beast. Fantastic game on the Amiga. Shame the Master System one isn't as great. Paid three quid for this one. Yeah. Alright. Next one I'm really happy with, Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate, £2 boxed complete, bargain considering they're going for a bit more than that on the old eBay, yes, um, not a chance to play yet but certainly for a couple of pounds, most happy. Now, been visiting a few local game stations this week, <laughs> One ninety nine it cost me, yes I know I've got it on the Xbox but didn't have it for the cube. Um, haven't had a chance to play it yet, but for a couple of pounds. And of course, Rocky. Rocky being, yes, I know. Had to buy it. Pound. Football game. Didn't have it. Couldn't let it go. Pound. Surfing game. Haven't played it yet. Looks nice enough. Yeah, I thought, why not give it a try? A couple more charity shop finds. Into the Matrix. 199. You don't really see these in charity shops very often, so I thought, eh, give it a go. Looks good, haven't played it yet. Courtside 202. Yeah, pound and well, 199 actually in a charity shop. Haven't played it again. GameCube games don't come up very often, so I thought I'd uh, give it a chance. Excuse me while everything falls on the floor. Game Station next. Yeah, I don't even like football games. FIFA 08, PlayStation Platinum Collection, 98p. For a current gen game, 98p. I thought, why not? Looks great. My friend Brian will probably like it. I'm not a big fan, but for a pound, definitely. So the next one, had to buy it. Knight's Journey of Dreams on the Wii. Okay, Pre-owned, it was eight quid. Well, I like Knight's on the Saturn, so hopefully this will be pretty good fun. Well, I'm quite impressed. Now, today is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. So, let's just see what I've been buying myself, apart from all that stuff. Day of release, Mass Effect 2. This is the first time I've ever bought a game on day of release. And this game is absolutely fun. That'd be dozy. Definitely worth, well, as there was the cheapest that I found in the shops anyway, 3771. I'm definitely looking forward to this. Played about an hour of it so far. Fantastic. Fantastic. Definitely lived up to the what the what the first one promised. So, with it being my birthday. I also bought myself a nice big present, and here she is, 
a brand new Philips widescreen 23 inch monitor. Yes, according to the lovely thing on the side, it is full 1080p Ooh, HDMI. Um, something or other, technical dynamic, blah blah blah. Two more second response time, and it has a USB in the port, port in the back. Uh, great price on it, got it for 150 or something odds. This is cool, power bar to well, power LED. If you're on Windows, you can fill about the light brightness on that, switch it on and off. I'm in Linux right now, so it doesn't have that control as of yet. My nice big desktop, much greatness monitor, really like it. Black's a lovely colour. Ooh, very nice, nice birthday present to myself. This is this an LG Flatron 19 inch wide screen, which at the t well, just not wide screen, pan and scan, which at the time was massive. Now, I have got it doing dual monitors at the moment, but uh, I'm having a bit of a problem with Ubuntu getting it sorted. But it works fine in Windows. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that or get rid of this. It certainly makes this look tiny compared to this lovely thing. Really, really, really do like it. Absolutely fantastic. Monitor technology is certainly coming a long way. At the moment, I've got it cooked up using the DVI connector because my graphics card doesn't support anything else. Well, old VGA and uh, DVI, but no HDMI. It's got an HDMI stuck on the back, so if I want, I could plug one of the new consoles in, I suppose. But anyway, enough about me blabbering on about gibberish. Vintage views. Yes, my vintage views. I'm still doing them. The next one was supposed to be a review of this CD32 games. However, there has been a bit of a problem with this. I managed to break it. Yes, I have spent weeks trying to get it to be working properly. I have almost managed to get it completely working again. I'm funny about the pots and the CD and things. Uh, it's my own fault. I shouldn't have been playing around with it. However, I'm now totally, totally sick of it. And I don't want to do any more reviews on the game just now. So, I have got a new game that I thought would be here by now. I bought off eBay for a console which I've already reviewed. Yes. I'll let you figure out which one it is. I've got, I've got a vintage view started on that, so hopefully once I get the game I'll be able to do some more reviewing and we'll get it up. Something a bit different, something that you, pick, so you can't pick up in a charity shop. So, that's all for me. Thanks for listening. See you later. Bye bye.